Hello everyone, my name is Aqua and welcome back to another video. Today guys, I'll be going over episode 1 of printing and doing variables in Lua. So the first thing you guys want to do is head over to your file explorer. Um, I'm going to be storing my work in documents. And then you're going to want to simply right click new folder. I already have one and I called it Lua code. And you guys shouldn't have anything in it. You can put like a folder if you want or just make a basic file. So just do like right click text document, but I did mine in here. I'm just going to delete the one in here to show you guys. So you guys can make it one for each episode like so, or just do like one main one and just like kind of build on it every episode. It's really your choice. So we're going to open episode one. We're going to do new text document, control A, main dot Lua, press enter. It's going to ask you if you want to change the extension. You're going to want to click yes. It's going to simply change it. We're going to go back here, back another one. And then you're going to have your Visual Studio Code open. And if you haven't installed this or installed Lua yet, you have to go back, watch my other video. In the top right hand corner, I'm going to have the video link. So we can just simply click on this thing right here. This is the Explore tab. Then drag our folder into it. And then boom. This is my episode three, so we're gonna head over here. Oops. And then you can open this up again, find your episode one or your main. You can just double open it by clicking on it, then close it. One second. And then if terminal's not open by default, you just do your new terminal. And then since I'm into an, another subfolder of my main folder, you just type CD space, the folder name, mine's episode one. And then you, you're in there. So you're now in your official folder. Now we can go over basic, I guess, printing variables. It's very easy to print to the screen. It's just something you write the word print, put parentheses around it like so, put these marks inside that you can write, hello world. Control S or do file save to make sure you save it and type Lua space main dot Lua. And then boom, you print it out, hello world. You can have as many of these as you want. Just like so, make sure you save it. Run it again. Bang, there you go. You can put anything inside of these. So you can put, you know, explanation points as you can see. You can put numbers, you can put like all these different symbols. Just run it again. Make sure you save it every time I'm pressing Control S to save it faster. And boom, we can see it prints it all out. You're like, that's cool. Now you know how to print to the screen. Another thing we're going to be over now is something called variables. Variables store data. There's many different types of data you can store. The main things in the beginning you're going to be storing are something called strings, which is basically just like letters and those quotation marks we had you print out. We're going to be storing numbers you can actually do math with. We'll do math and stuff in the next video, but I'll show you how to store everything. And the last main thing you're going to be storing in these is basically kind of Boolean. Boolean is another word in the programming world for true or false. So the first thing I'll show you guys how to make your first variable. You just have to type the word local space the name space equal sign and then the quotation marks and we can put aqua. And then that's how you store a, your local name. Then we want to store a local age, why not? And then you put equal sign and you put 18 and then press enter again. Local is alive is equal to true. So those are the three variables we went over and why you didn't put quotation marks over these two is because these are not strings. Now, if you put quotation marks over this 18, you'd not be able to do math like add, subtract with it, etc. So since we may want to add our near age every year, we can write a script that like every year we could simulate it, it would add on one extra year, so it would become 19. But if we just put it in a string, that would make it kind of like a static thing and you could not change it unless you overwrote the variable. Now is alive, same thing. Uh, you didn't put it in there because then it wouldn't be an actual statement. So you can check it, let's say, you want to check if it's true, etc. So yeah, so I'll show you guys now how to print out variables. I'm going to open up a second line so you guys can like make it look nicer for printing, I guess. 
and destroy out the word print like you did last time. Hello, my name is, instead of just writing aqua in here, we'll print out the variable. So you're gonna wanna go outside these quotation marks, press the space, you know, so it's just kind of easier to see and make sure you're outside. Sometimes it's hard to see if you're on a small screen. And then press two periods. And then this is what we call it concatenation. It basically kind of combines, combines the string that you had before, which is hello, my name is, where you're printing to adding a variable into it. And then we can just simply type in the word name. Oops, I actually hit cap lock, caps lock. That's my bad guys. And boom, this basic G kind of just adds it together and we tell it to print this plus this. If that makes sense. I don't really know how to explain it. Then we just write Lua main dot Lua and boom, we can see it prints out. Hello, my name is Aqua. So yeah, and then we can just press two more periods and then another thing in quotation marks, put a space there and then do my age is do a space, make sure just for, you know, nice formatting two periods again, then age, then boom. Lua main dot Lua. And then we can see prints out. Hello, my name is Aqua. My age is 18. And that's basically how you guys do printing. And then I guess and Lua. Thanks guys so much for watching the video. If you want the source code or have any questions, my discord's down below and the source code for this video of everything I wrote is also down below. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have an amazing day. My name's Aqua. See you guys in the next video.